Tough, isn't it? If you're a sports nut, and even if you're not, there's always something magical about a grand final. And of course this week there are two of them starting at the AFL tomorrow. Gladiators and heroes, legends being made. That of course is just the spectators, as Emily Rice discovered. For footy fans, the grand final is where memories are made. And St John Ambulance volunteer Terry King has one most bizarre. He was on duty at the 1959 clash between Melbourne and Essendon. As a nine-year-old junior volunteer, he was near the boundary line when a woman became distressed in the 100,000 strong crowd. Me being the youngest one uh, and the smallest, uh, they threw me over the fence, basically, uh, and I had to crawl and walk the way up uh, the tiers, probably got up to around about the fourth, fifth tier, and uh, I was presented with a uh, female squatting there, and she said she was in uh, labour. With baby well on the way, he did his best to calm the woman as he sent for a stretcher. As a cadet, you were taught how to put a band-aid on and how to put on a bandage. Childbirth was certainly not in it. I was only just learning at school about the birds and the bees. I always thought that uh, the babies came from down the, behind the cabbage patch. Prove that wrong. She was rushed to the first aid room, while fans remained firmly focused on the foot footy. The majority were fixed on the, uh, the game itself. Uh, the incident was happening. Uh, what could they do? Uh, they paid their money to come and see the game, not to see a baby book. What happened to the mother and baby after the MCG delivery remains to this day a mystery. Mr King would love to complete the story. At the back of my mind, I've got a keen interest there to, to know, but uh, you know, it's 51, 52 years ago. Uh, I don't know whether those people are still on the earth. St John has been helping out at big games for the past 90 years, and it's not difficult to find willing volunteers. Um, we've in fact got a waiting list of people who actually want to come to the MCG on Grand Final Day. We've got um, over 2,000 volunteers and only 100 can come here. Their life-saving work is world regarded. Recovery rate from a heart attack at the MCG is 95%. The MCG is the safest place outside a hospital environment anywhere in the world to have a heart attack, believe it or not. Um, the reason for that is because we've got really good processes here in the way we respond. We can get to um, every case within two minutes. St John's staff are not the only ones working hard off-field on grand final day. Retired Essendon captain Matthew Lloyd will once again put on his game face as part of the commentary team. He says it's easier to perform in front of a microphone than in front of goal. I don't miss waking up with the uh, you know, aching bones and, and sore spots. Excited to be part of it uh, on the other side of the fence grand final day this year. And the TV coverage has come a long way. Players and umpires now contribute live comments. No matter what happens behind the scenes, a seat near the action on game day at the MCG is all that matters to die-hard footy fans. Really love it. Love the thrill. Yeah, it's just great. Yeah. 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 And they're calling the end result early. Oh, we've had a doubt with cats, and I want another one of those. <laughs> That's how he doesn't have a heart attack, but of course if he does, he's in a good place to do it. Now, NRL fans don't despair. Coming up, a unique perspective on rugby leagues.